In this video, I'll show you how to add titles to your videos like a pro. I'll show you two versions, one with the white faded background and one with the black faded background. Let's go. We already have a video on our timeline. So next we're going to do, we're going to come to text, click default text and just drag it onto the timeline above the video. We can expand this a little bit, come to the text and just add the text. And you can choose your desired font and we'll just go with this one. Adjust the size if you need to. Next, we're going to add the animation to the text. So select the text, come up to animation and let's go with slide up, expand to the slide up in animation to about two seconds. And then let's go to out. So this is the out animation and let's go with slide down and also expand the duration to two seconds. So it look like this. And next we're going to come to the main clip. We are going to right click copy and then come to the end of the clip and paste the clip and drag this clip on the top. Next, we'll come to effect and just search for the blur effect and come to blur and just drag this effect onto the top clip. Now you can see the top clip is blurred. Next, we're going to come to the beginning of the animation of the title. So we can drag the playhead to the beginning and then here, click the main clip, go to opacity, set a keyframe and then come to the end of this arrow click the first video the blur video and for the opacity we'll make a keyframe and click this arrow to go to the first keyframe and turn down the opacity the purpose of doing this is to animate the blur to come in at the same time of the title come to the out animation of the subtitle drag the playhead to where it begins click this clip and then add a keyframe on opacity come to the end of the animation click this clip and opacity and turn it down. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, as you can see, the blur animation is not as smooth. So the way that we can make it smoother is to come to the clip, right click, show keyframe animation, click on opacity, click this down arrow, and this is the animation graph. We click on the keyframe and then click on auto curve, click on the keyframe, click on auto curve, same thing on the out animation, click on this, auto curve, click on this, same thing. So this will give you a much smoother animation. Right click on the clip, hide keyframe animation, and here we are done with the first example. We'll delete this and for the next example, I'll show you how to do the black fade background. So it gives you option of having a different look. We'll use the same title and animation. Come down here to the clip, copy the clip, come to the end, paste the clip, make it the main clip. And then what we're going to do is come to basic, scroll down, come to canvas, select color and pick the black color, come to mask, rectangle, and we can reverse the mask here. And then we expand this canvas all the way to cover the entire screen. Come down here, create compound clip. Okay. And then drag the clip on top of the main clip here. Here, what we're going to do is come to basic, come to opacity and reduce it to 50%. So here we have like a black faded background. We're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to match the blur animation to the title animation. Move the playhead to the beginning of the text animation. Set the keyframe on the opacity. Come to the end of the arrow. Make sure this clip is selected. Come to opacity. Come to the first keyframe. Reduce the opacity to zero. Same thing on this side, make a keyframe on opacity, come to the end of the out animation, make the opacity, and then turn it back to zero. And next we're going to make it smooth. Right click, show keyframe animation, click on opacity, this down arrow. Here we see the graph again, and then we just select auto curve for each of the keyframe. Auto curve, there we go. And then we come here, hide keyframe animation, and we are done. And let's see what it looks like. So this gives you a dark faded look. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, hit the subscribe button.